Hey everybody, this is Austin, Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. We, uh, we tried to get one of those fancy robot voices for this r slash video, but we couldn't afford it. So these are the top posts from r slash antiques. As you can see, this is a gentleman's great-grandfather's diary about, uh, geology and stuff. He has some hand-done hand sketches in here and stuff. Honestly, this is folk art. This is an amazing piece. Well, at least the boss approves of the new couch. pretty rare to find one of these lamps intact because there's little strings that swirl about little crystally bits and uh, make it all shiny and cool like this, make it look like it's raining. So pretty, pretty uncommon to find an intact one. This is a person's collection of uranium glass and ceramics. I'm not sure what the orange is. Maybe you guys could tell me. Maybe Fiesta wear. Um, they have some very cool things. They're lamps and uh, especially the Heisey winged scroll over there on the left. Let me... Let me try and blow it up here. Super cool sign for their display there, obviously. Um, vintage radioactive materials sign. And then there's the Heise glass to the left there. Uh, wing scroll, flying scroll, I forget what the actual name is. This fella's saying this stack of books here is from 1518 to 1714, which I mean, you know, that's amazing. For paper to make it that far, you know, through so many hands and houses and stuff, I mean, that's just wild. It's wild that he has any of them, let alone all of these. Congratulations, bud. This is a very cool collection. Here we have some uh, uranium glass depression era jewelry. Very cool beaded necklace, obviously. I mean, if you're into uranium glass, I don't know if you knew that jewelry existed, but it's out there. So, I mean, look out for it. Use your shiny light. Congratulations to this person for finally buying the piece they were looking at for four years. I mean, art, art really gets under you. I mean, some of the pieces just... They, like, invade your spirit. I don't know what it is. They found these amazing portraits of African Americans in a dumpster. I mean, if that's not enough reason to go fishing through some trash, I don't know what is, because that's, that's really awesome. You saved history right there, bud. Oh, here we have somebody that found a uh, antique dresser. Very, very nice finishing. Um, pretty interesting uh, what they did to it here. Just, uh, just refinished it a little bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, someone take it away. No, what'd you do? What'd you do? Sorry about that. We had a brief lapse in maturity. This is an amazing piece of furniture. If you look at the spirally bits on the sides there, somebody hand turned those on a lathe. It would have been super complicated to make those. Uh, feel free to Google how a lathe works. It's awesome. They said this here is a uh, small portion of her mom's uranium glass collection, but I don't, I don't think this is a small portion of anything, buddy. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> nice work. Super cool console TV and record player in one at their granddad's house. Pretty rad. Honestly, I'd be rocking this bad boy right now. I got records and everything. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh dang! Look at this old harlot. She's about the. She's about the show and not the growing, if you know what I'm saying. Ow, ow! Too much, too much. I just have one question. Did you have any luck rehoming the grandchildren? Alright, check out this fan. It's like, uh, it's like Tiffany Comfort Company met Steampunk or something. I, I don't know. It's amazing. I love it. This fella here is the number one post on all of r slash antiques, and it's a, uh, it's a deed or like a property transfer from 1639. I, they were talking about it in the comments. I, uh, I didn't screenshot anything or anything. I just thought I'd show you this because, I mean, imagine a piece of paper making it almost 400 years at this stage. I, I, it blows my mind some of the things that make it through history. It's so cool. So cool. Congratulations having such an awesome piece of history, sir. Or man. Whoever. I don't, I don't know. I thought this dresser was super cool. There's actually a note inside of it that the uh, gentleman's son who had made it uh, put the note in there. And, you know, it's just kind of a sad story, too. It's, you know, a whole family has lost this handmade treasure. So this is just one of those neat inventions that we don't need or use anymore because we have cell phones and stuff. But a really cool little shopping list to tick off things as you uh, go through the store. I, it's just neat. I love stuff like this. Old metal, that's really my jam. So 
So this guy taking an antique boiler door and making it not only into a fireplace, but with uh, doors for a... Hold on, we'll get there. Just let me let me surprise you. I, I'm going to let these pictures show you what this guy did. It's honestly amazing. Repainted everything, did all that stuff. But then we get here. Boom! A bar too? Oh my goodness. You know what's up, buddy. Absolutely magical bird castle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a castle for your birds. This is actually probably pretty old and all handmade and stuff. But some of these things are so neat and people can't do this anymore. It would have taken so much time to make something like this that you couldn't possibly sell it for enough money in the present times to make a business out of it. Some doodles in a Bible from the 1600s. I mean, <laughs> what an amazing thing. Awesome. Truly awesome. This is a hand-carved hearse um, from the 1920s. Feel free to go over to r slash antiques and actually look at some of this stuff. You know, I'm blowing up pictures and copy-pasting and stuff, so it might not come out as well as I had hoped. An Edwardian wedding dress? I mean, you know, I, I realize I'm saying amazing a lot, but it really is. I mean, imagine that fabric making it through all this time to get here. Quite a cabinet containing this person's uranium glass collection. Well done, buddy. Here we have a rookie finally displaying their uranium glass. Congratulations, friend. It's a very pretty display. Well done. I didn't even read about what this chest of drawers was. Well, I suppose it's a dresser, but very oddly angled drawers and stuff. I, I don't know who made it or anything. I probably should have checked into that, being as how I was making this video. A long disused medicine cabinet at his uh, grandmother's house. Look at some of the look at some of the bottles and stuff in here. I mean, <laughs> how long has it been since you've been in that cabinet? This is a silk flower crown from 1912 that her grandmother wore at her, or her great grandmother wore at her wedding. I'm sorry. What a magical thing to still have in your family. Good work, everybody, keeping that safe. And there's the dapper couple on their day. This guy found this old piece of ceramic on a beach in Canada, from what I can tell. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a whole piece of history. That, I mean, I love all sorts of shipwreck stuff and, and anything you find washed up on the beach. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? I'm not even sure. It should be 17, 1800s, maybe English. I'm not positive. When you're flipping through your family Bible and find something from the uh, Lincoln presidential campaign, I heard he won. Pretty cool. You can say your family probably voted for Lincoln. Uh, this is a Chinese wedding bed. I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but these are like pinnacles of woodworking and earlier antiques, like 1800s maybe. But uh, look at how they all come apart like this and they don't go together with any nails or anything. It's all like peg work and stuff. So you can put this back together without doing any like any screwing or anything, even though that might be the intent when getting the bed back together. Look at all the carvings on this. Isn't that amazing? This person's amazing book collection starts at 1481. That's before Columbus got to America. I mean, what a wild thing to own. Congratulations. It's so neat to see stuff like this survive. You know, nobody was saving a pack of eight crayons for 80 years, but somebody out there did. And that's why we get to see what a hundred-year-old pack of Crayola looks like. Isn't that cool? Let's see if their colors were the same colors. Are those the same colors if you buy an A pack now? Let me let me know in the comments. This guy's dad restored a 1929 Ford, and they made this awesome, like, gangster picture. <laughs> Just a family photo with the car. Isn't that awesome? These people almost look like they found this on a beach. Because, I mean, they're standing on a beach in the photos. And yeah, it looks like it's 800 silver, so it's 80% silver. And uh, who knows what that green stone is, but it's an old lipstick holder, I think. And you would you would push it out with that little gem there. 100-year-old toilet paper. It had to be included in a video of the best of uh, r slash antiques. How cool is that? I opted for the close-up on this because I thought you needed it. This is a little candlestick holder from the 1790s, I guess, and uh, you see the little button would be used to push the candlestick out of there. Isn't that cool? It could have melted it down or anything over the time, and here it is. 
If you know me, you know I love glass, so this was an obvious inclusion. Look at that awesome collection. I love it when people have their uh, stuff organized in like a rainbow or spectrum or whatever. Found these lamps dirt cheap on a Facebook marketplace and the fiancé hates them. Well, you lost a fiancé, but you gained two pretty sweet lamps. So there's that. You know, it's really a crap deal when people take their uh, family heirlooms and just sell them off at auction instead of trying to give them to any of the, the children in the family that might actually care about things like that. It's really a sad thing to see him go. So this guy, I don't think it was the same tool chest, but his grandfather had one like it and his mother gave him this as a gift. And uh, I just think that's very cool. Close enough. Close enough. Um, I love lamp. I love... I love lamp. <laughs> what an amazing piece. I would love to have that. I don't know if you've ever heard of Lewis, Lewis Comfort Tiffany and company, but, uh, but yeah, you can't afford this. This is not a thing that any of us can buy. <laughs> I had never heard of this before today, but apparently a Lennox Spice Village. And you can see that all these different spices are uh, actually different little houses. So, so check it out, all these little seasonings here. I hope you can see, like, you know, oregano and stuff on each of these. Now these aren't like solid gold or anything, in fact in the comments they were saying they were just metal and glass. But they are very old rings that this person found, I think, metal detecting in a forest near their home. And I think that stuff's so cool. Metal detecting, mud larking, all that stuff where they find buried treasure. I mean, how could you go wrong finding, finding something like that for free? Just a little bit of digging, hard work, nail under your dirt. Somebody got these pieces at an estate auction, and uh, somebody asked them if they were going to paint them. Thank you for not painting them. I mean, I assume you weren't, because you made the face like, why would I do that? What, what kind of sick person, what kind of sick person would paint these? And I understand that reaction. I'm guessing this is Japanese, but if you've ever tried to woodwork, you understand exactly how difficult any of this would have been. Like, this is beyond our capabilities. We, we can't do this. If you think you can do this, it's because you've never carved wood in your life. <laughs> it's, it's just the way it is. I, I don't know what to tell you. You could not make this. Unless you're like the dude. This washing machine had like 2,000 upvotes, which I understand. I think maybe like, maybe everyone's grandmother had a washing machine like this? Comment if your grandmother had this washing machine. I love how crafty some of these things from the past were. I mean, they knew they were already going to be making heat. Why not put a food food warmer in there? You know, I mean, it's just a it's just a no-brainer. You know, this is why it's so important to get out to thrift stores and antique malls and flea markets and stuff. This is a piece of saved history. No one would have known this man existed if not for this hunter. I mean, this is a real tiny piece of important history that someone has preserved, and they, they found it, and they took it, and they made sure it was safe, and well done. You know, even if I don't love the item, I always love the story that comes with them. I mean, this one, being bought by a grandfather for a grandmother, the first present he got her a hundred years ago, amazing. Seltzer bottles, another thing that like doesn't need to be produced anymore because we drink soda and stuff. We get seltzer out of bottles already. So, I mean, these things just don't need to be made anymore. And here this guy is collecting 900 of them. And that's, <laughs> it's just very cool. This is a uh, little puzzle featuring Popeye, olive oil. Um, I don't know the other two characters, but it's obviously old, very neat. Uh, who are the other characters? The cheeseburger guy and the little guy. This awesome mirror is the last piece we're going to look at today. And uh, if you didn't like this video, you can go ahead and take a long, hard look at yourself and uh, think about what you've done. This is Austin, best I can afford antiques channel. Always trying to show you something neat. On this occasion, not my stuff. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe unless you don't want to, in which case I have no interest in maintaining our relationship.